Okay, where do you spawn, by the way? I'm down in the bottom right corner. And do you have your mini map up? Uh, yes. I don't see you. You haven't. There you are. Good. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, without making this too much of a schooling video, I thought I'd just. We, we can do kind of what we want because it's combat. We don't have to hold any positions. We just have to get kills and try and not get, get killed. Kills, yeah. When you select your squad of infantry, I always deselect the hold position mode so that the arrow doesn't have a red circle and a, uh, and a stripe across it because that means that they have to hold position. And if you're in, the, in a bad spot and a tank rolls up or a lot of infantry rolls up, it's always good to have your... Oh, look at that. Combat already. It's always good to have them on free move so that they can run away and decide whatever they want to do. Fall back. Yeah, yeah, they can fall back, they can advance, they can attack the enemy. They're never forced to, s to sit by and watch as their friends get killed. Uh, so how do I deactivate that? So you select your infantry and in the bottom right you have a quick quick select menu. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you just make sure that oh, the arrow... Up? Yeah, that the arrow is... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I'm just gonna lower some effects here. Okay, so some U.S. infantry came up on my right flank and started shooting oh, me down. Oh. Unfortunately for them, I'm bringing up an MG-42. We got two. No, MG-34. We got, a, we got a, a Jeep ahead of yeah. me right there. Those Jeeps aren't great, but my MG-34 there is just killing. Yeah, that Jeep is, oh. is going to get shot down to pieces by your infantry if you got some good spots. Yeah, yeah. he's got a... 30 cal on it, which isn't all too deadly. I think he's direct controlling it too. Are those folks, folks grenadiers? Yeah. Did you lose your grenadier squad? Uh, not sure. I gotta turn down my game. Oh yeah. It's so loud. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that jeep is coming up for you. Okay. Um. Oh, you got the gunner. Just kill one more. Oh, nice. I like. I kind of like the nighttime. It's it's pretty interesting. I've never had a nighttime scenario before. I had no idea it was going to be night. Last time I checked this map, it was actually day. So I don't know why it's gone night. But should I get into the grenadier unit? The grenadiers are pretty good. I'm getting a mortar and a machine gun to cover my right flank. Okay. Uh, as I said, you don't have to capture or hold any territory, but you're likely to get killed by letting the enemy flank your positions too. So. Right. Right. And it's always good to get some infantry spread out. Like, you got some good infantry there. To, like, spread them out into smaller sections. Let them be on, on move at will. And they'll... And, and, and to, like, really broaden out, uh, so to speak. Okay. So, kind of just branch them out a little bit. Yeah. And I see a jeep up on my flank. We got an MG and a mortar laying down fire on that guy. So, that's good. I'm going to get a whole folks grenadier squad that I'm going to split up in two sections that I'm going to allow possibility of attacking the enemy freely so yeah, this there's, is or go ahead yeah so there's always the, the, uh, the there's always the possibility of <laughs> there's always the positivity of having a lot of units on the field because it gives you you know more fire support it gives you better con like it gives you better control of the battlefield but mm -hmm. there's also that negativity where there are just more targets for the enemy to kill so right to kill yeah so there's there's a nice balance in between there like the american guy there has gone with a lot if I were you, I'd spawn maybe a mortar. A mortar? Okay. Yes. It's from the MG4. You see the MG34 on a, like a tripod stands there in the menu? You've uh, got a yeah. whole lot of support units there. I love the Flak 38s, the Flex 36. Those those like fast firing light guns that can take out light tanks, vehicles, and big, big groups of infantry. And mortars are great too, especially when he's grouping a lot of infantry like that. Oh, yep. Yeah, I got a mortar, that. it's already firing. Cool. Ooh, look at that. Oh, Beautiful yeah. direct hit. And it's a really pretty game with this mod, isn't it? Like, it's really... Yeah, this is fantastic. It's, uh, it feels so realistic. Yeah, it's... and it's so different than Vanilla Men of War 2, so... Yeah, and I just got, you know... I was playing a ton of Company of Heroes, and it's like night and day. It's, it's yeah, yeah, this is really realistic. Oh. It's like the he's Total War. He's... Yeah. Of the Except minus for the, all the, the groups and stuff. You've got more of the separate units but it adds realism right. to have it that way too all right i'm gonna fall back here he's he's storming my yeah my position yeah that mg42 or mg34 would be uh would easily chew down pretty much any of the infantry and any light vehicles that he sends at you the jeeps and stuff so um you want to try and keep that mortar protected uh, all right thing is you're only really you see that's that's not that's not a bad choice that's uh that's gonna take pretty much all the the uh small arms fire a 50 right, caliber out. machine gun might rip it up, but the main gun on it is going—it's—it's it's going to be enough to deter 
The, the problem is it's got its MG on the back, so for infantry, it's not the greatest. But if you can load HE in that thing and, and put some support on the... Or put some fire on the enemy, then it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely thinking I might need to get a pack 38 in case the Yankees bring up some armor. <laughs> so Yankees. Is, there, is there a way to click on the minimap to quickly maneuver? Cause... Yeah, right click. If, to maneuver a vehicle or uh, a... Okay. Yeah, oh, no, no, right no, just, just yeah, yeah. the camera. I keep mine at like a pretty big size. Uh, I don't have any transparency on because on I like to see the what's going on there, so to speak. So in general, um, yeah, as I said, you lose the infantry on the mortar. You can easily get more men on the mortar. You just got to select a soldier and crew the mortar like that, which is, okay. which is very good. Yeah. If I were you now, I'd get more infantry and spread them out so that you have more of a vision. Because you don't have the 360 vision in this game. You have you have field of view, which is basically just what the soldier sees through his eyes. So you're not gonna have you're not gonna have vision behind you or on the side of you unless that infantryman or unless your your army or your soldiers can spot that, so to speak. So there's a there's a chance of units getting around the flank and stuff. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that half track you have should ooh the wall there. If you hold in control, if you grab that half track and hold in control, you can direct mm -hmm. fire uh, as with your mouse pointer. Oh, I see, I see. And you can also use WASD to control the vehicle. So you could ride, you could drive and shoot at the same time. Oh, that's awesome. Right, so there's a mortar firing at you from back here. And if you feel like doing it, you could kind of just like grab that Move half track around. and rush it and just kind of like rush it, like try and do your best that way. All right. It's a pretty good tactic. A lot of pros always use direct control for like their tank combat. They'll get one tank and they'll pretty much like do as much as they can and, and own everything, you know. Um, yeah, I think my crew are dead though. All right, here I go. Wish me luck. Yeah. Oh, and you have a half uh, a Greyhound, an M20 actually coming up in your life. Oh, I see that. I see that. Deal with that mortar first, because it's definitely the most annoying thing. So just ride at it. You can shoot or you can drive over it. Okay. It doesn't seem to have any units even protecting him. So, and that M20 there, it's got a 50 caliber machine gun on top. It'll definitely chew through your your your. Uh, yeah, just right. Oh, he moved it, didn't he? Oh yeah, you what? drove over it. You just drove over the mortar. Oh, okay, okay. So I'd say like, oh look, he's got a lot of it, Marie. Oh look at those grenades. Oh gosh. Oh, gosh. oh what an explosion. Oh rest in peace. Pretty pretty much worth it though. And I'm I've got my own little panzer moving in here. Okay. Oh crap! Oh crap! Um, I just yeah. I just pretty what much slaughtered a whole vehicle? a whole squad there. Um, cause he didn't, he didn't spread out his men, so they were all, they all fell prey for my, my nasty little Panzer 1 here. So that, that Panzer 1 has already redeemed its points, so to speak. Uh, you always want to make sure that all the units, they're not going to stay alive forever, but you want to make sure that they do what they can. I, I'm going to come up on the flank here, and I'm going to provide you with some support, Apollo. So I'm going right. to shoot oh, these guys up behind. Oh, I'm like out of ammo. How am I out of ammo? What? What? Can you not reload your guns? Um, I've somehow, like, run out of ammo. And I'm really confused. And I think I've kind of just lost my Panzer 1. Oh. Nice shot there. You got the, uh, yeah. Luke's. Danke. Vielen Dank. Okay, so... <laughs> Once again, it's pretty quiet on my flank, and this is where I think that the enemy opponent is like, oh, uh, he's yeah. digging in more, and digging in is never going to do you anything good, because you're just going to be like spending all your points on units that you can't counterattack with, units that you can't chase after the enemy with. You're, you're, you're just going to... You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to yeah, yeah. let... I've got a basic mortar, I've got an MG42 on the 34 on the middle of the road, and I have a pack and some infantry just to provide some vision. They're like covering the flanks. It's not a lot. Scouting. It'll yeah. it'll go down easily. And I'm right now taking some more serious fire as well. So what I could do now is I could I could spend money on tanks or artillery and and, and deal with him that way. But that is not going to allow me to to really change this battle around the way I want it. So I think I think I'm going to sit by and wait. I think I'm going to wait for him to get closer. He can wear down my defense. That's fine. I will allow him to. I just think that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make him feel safe and, and give him the feeling of of currently just Security. taking over the yeah exactly. <laughs> and then when he moves up his stuff, he'll realize that's not the case. Oh, 
I need I need a lot of good anti tank. I think at this point, because he keeps sending over armored vehicles. Yeah, I'm trying to spot for oh, some of this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That was a waste. Yeah. See, we're still in the lead, though. Uh, yeah, barely. <laughs> barely, I know. But yeah. listen, once the units gets more valuable, uh, they're going to start losing a lot more points for every loss. So if they destroyed my Stug 3, they'd probably almost double their score because I just bought in a... a <laughs> decently priced tank so to speak so there's definitely uh the risk of that and it, by the way if you look at your infantry the second infantry tab um is like just specific units so you can buy one sniper one AT oh, soldier. One's, oh yeah. okay i see that and the That's whole cool. the top one is just the whole squad so there's definitely lots to okay yeah to do let's see here i'm betting. oh crap i'm gonna get some scouting done here so i'm gonna get in yeah he's he's all over me here my two yeah just... i'm gonna support you on your flank i'm gonna bring in okay. a panzer four is there is there a way to spawn somewhere else no uh okay. you your units have a spawn survival thing for like like they're invincible for a set amount of time but i'm gonna come and help you clear out your spawn so okay okay is Don't there worry. anything i should be spawning like a certain tank probably or something? A, 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 a tank with a uh turret not a uh, not a gun that's mounted to the hull Okay, so like a Panzer IV, probably tank some, support. Yeah, tank support. Get get a Panzer IV if you can. Okay. Uh, Panzer III works too. I'd per, I'd, per, I'd prefer a Panzer IV if you could afford it, and then just kind of let it sit there, let it shoot some of the units in the back. He's not gonna have. He's been spending so much of his money on like AA units and lighter tanks. He's got a M24 Chaffee there. You'll your tank will smoke. Oh wow! Whoa. Jesus Christ! That was a pretty <laughs> explosion. That was only an M19. I'm gonna God. write and see how. And I just smoke him. So it's that was a cheap unit that did a lot of damage with yeah. a very high caliber, a very high caliber gun, so to speak. And now oh, I've man. just got machine gunners, and I've got an infantry team that's moving out and spreading out to take out the rest of his units. Okay, and so I'll pr I'll probably just wait a little. Yeah. If you couldn't, if you buy into some units, I can actually you can scout his tank for me because it's gonna be somewhere okay, there. Okay, so just like a cheap infantry. Yeah, just or a something? cheap infantry unit. Maybe spawn a Panzer Grenadier. Spawn a Panzerfaust infantry. So go to the separate specialized soldiers, and spawn okay. like an 80 MP Panzerfaust or Panzerschreck infantry, and then like run him down this direction as soon as you spawn him in, and like attack the unit. And I think, I think it'll work out great. I think you'll okay, be able to destroy. One? Get Panzerfaust or Panzerschreck. I'd oh, prefer okay, Panzerschreck. Okay. If you spawn in a Panzerschreck, and then you just like run him down this way, because now they're shooting at the infantry up there. There you go. There you go. Select that. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. It's right next to you. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Look, fire, look, look, look. There. You oh wait. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. Wait. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. Uh, it's fire. out. It's out. It's out. You got it. You got it. You got it. Sweet. And I'm gonna finish it off like that. So yeah, it's pretty okay, much yeah, burning up. It's blowing up from the inside. And there you go. God. Cool, huh? Yeah. You think like you're so safe in a tank, but yeah, right. There's, there's so many tools to wipe them out in this game. Exactly. So that's that's great. I'm gonna put some of my infantry up here. Yeah, he's got and a it's, Sherman over yeah, there. Yeah, I see that, and I, it's just yeah. What's it gonna I, do? Panzer Ooh, four. Nice. Yeah. Oh man, these explosions. It's and now it's we're, insane. We're back in the lead. Yeah, we're back in the lead. So it really, you see, you see how important that is. And I'm gonna yeah. do something just for the show here. So he's got an annoying position back here. I'm gonna nebble the shit out of him, and this is a pricey unit. Um, this is a unit that I spent out of my specialist tab, so this is not costing me any real, like, real points. It costs me the special points down in the bottom right, and you only have 20, and you can call each faction has like special units in that pool. Now he's got a little shitty uh, yep. M5A1 Stewart shooting at me. So there you go, your Panzerfaust got him again. Yeah. There we go. So now we can start clearing out your spawn. Now we can start... I can start sending another Panzer IV. We can create a little battle group. I can send more infantry, because he's not very aggressive on my side. And so... Right, so, what, so he's going to get outflanked. Yeah, and there's a lot we can gain from this. They're not working together. We're working together. We can both combat him alone, while this other guy is just sitting by. Not you just hold him off. Yeah, yeah, not attacking my flank at all. 
Yeah, I'll just wait to spawn troops, you know, and then we yeah, can... Yeah, exactly, attack. exactly. And, and as always, once you've fired artillery or have a tank that's fired, your enemy's gonna try and pin him out and, and remember that. So try and relocate or you might just see like a shell land on your side just seconds later. So as right. soon as I fired my, my battery here, it's, it's all about moving it because otherwise he knows that I'm gonna be in this general vicinity and he's gonna shell me and I'm probably gonna end up losing it. It's Artillery is very inexpensive in this game in, in general and you can do so much damage with it too, so. Okay, no, yeah. I like that like bunker you have here. Yeah. Oh, so he's moving in a lot of infantry right now. So a way okay. to counter that, a way to counter that would get a would be getting a light Support tank. Support tank. Well, a light or a light tank that has like machine gun, like that's meant that's quick moving and meant for anti infantry work. Okay. And as always, within when, when you get when you start spending money on heavier tanks that are really worth stuff, never leave them without infantry. You're always gonna want infantry there to secure it against enemy infantry and to give it spotting because a tank is it only can you can only really see out of the turret the spotter view and like right. What, what, you know, it's, it's gonna go down, unfortunately, to to anything. Oh, look at that. That US Marine. Perfect. And that's a good <laughs> flag panzer, Ostevin. That, that's just gonna come in there. Once again, it's not greatly armored, so ET grenades and the just supers can back. take it out, but it's gonna it's gonna chew down them. Mostly all okay. of the infantry that they'll send up. And they got some... Uh, he's got some riflemen back there behind your old Luke's. Oh and, my god. Yeah, and yeah just I think get I just shot need to down. learn like what these tanks do and stuff. Yeah, and... you just have to try and like it's not very it's not a very gamey game. This is very realistic. So think of it like how would this be in reality and not just like, oh well in Company of Heroes, this tank can chew up everything. Like right, every unit right. every unit technically has the ability to destroy any other unit in this game. The unless you have the weakness. Yeah, unless yeah. you have the lightest of tanks versus the heaviest of tanks, that's gonna take forever. Because none, none of the units really have a health bar in this game. It's pretty much just all based on, like, hits and accuracy and, right. and all those things. And right now, I've got a problem on my side. There is a m moderately heavy tank shooting at my Stug 3. And I just spotted it, so... We're going to see if we yeah, We got a mortar back there. I'm going to call up a another Panzer IV, and I'm going to take the fight to it. Oh, I just lost my Stug 3, so that gave them quite a bit of points there. Stuff like that happens, you know. And he's got a sniper in my spawn, too. I don't like that one bit. Yeah, he's got infantry back here. My sniper is so fast. Snipers are deadly, by the way. They will... Oh, oh wow. So he's got a sneakily placed little bullshit of a oh. tank back there. There's a stone in the way. Oh. Yeah. We got a... We're dead even now, by the way. Oh, God. Right? Oh. Nice. Is that you? Um, I think oh, it's yeah, both of true. us. I think I could you have destroyed it. something. He's still got that M8 Scott back there that's just annoying the hell out of me. It doesn't have enough stopping power to take down my tank, but it disabled the turret. So I'm going to have to try and skill my way around him and do a little... Yeah, the sound effects something. are unbelievable. They are just amazing. This is so cool. So see, he disabled the turret on my my tank, so I can't mm -hmm. move it. But I moved the tank in the perfect angle so it could fire with its turret not active. So that's the power of direct control, and that M8 Scott is not going to be working again. So now I'm going to pull back my tank, get it repaired, and it's going to be like nothing happened. Also, mortars do run out of ammo sometimes, and quite often. So then you'll have to buy like ammunition units to to refuel or not like re re uh, rearm and stuff like that. It's it's a little bit of a hassle sometimes, but uh, you just do right. it. So I lost one of my Panzer Force, I believe. Yeah. So they're going to get the points for it, but sometimes if you're lucky, you can repair the units on the field. Um, and right now I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a predicament versus another Sherman back there. I could move up. Um, well, he's probably got a lot of infantry. Yeah. 
That's a heavier Sherman. It's got some good armor on it, too. Come on. Yeah. He totally... He got it, too. Um, he used a, some heavier Sherman. So those... My Panzer Force are becoming not obsolete, but they're not. They're not the greatest to bring to the game anymore. And uh, we're still in the lead. But a bit of a fireworks show over there. Definitely. The medium so, tank. <laughs> his, uh, unfortunately, fortunately for us, his uh, Sherman is not going to be a match to some of the, the later game armor we get. It's just all about kind of like not loot, getting to 500 loss points before then. So I'm going to pull back my infantry because right now I've, I've kind of come yeah, to realize there's no way. Yeah, they're going to get... Completely gunned down by the enemy. So, they're going back to, uh, not safety, but some moderate safety, I guess. Alright, is it time for me to get some heavy tanks? Yeah, if you, can you get a, can you get a Panther? A, a Panzer Kampfwagen 5 Panther? In two uh, minutes, right? Yes. Yeah, wait for that, or spawn in, like, a Panzer, a late Panzer IV now, and shoot that Sherman, because he's, he's oblivious. He's moving out without infantry support. He's right there. You spawn in a Panzer IV in your spawn and shoot it, he's going to go down. You're going to get a okay. side hit. He's going to go down instantly. You get a good Panzer IV going right now from your spawn. That's a Jag Panzer. It doesn't have a movable turret, so you need to move that thing ASAP. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, you just need to turn it right in right now. Turn it around. And you need to shoot that Sherman as soon as you can. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Now you need to get infantry support as soon as you can. That thing's slow. That thing does not have a turret that it can okay. turn. So infantry is going to try and so storm up on it. You need to get some infantry there straight away to cover it. And that thing will deal with all the problems at range. And you've got infantry to deal with the close close. So problems. just keep it in the back. Just keep it in the back. Keep it in cover in front or behind. Something like that. You're doing the right thing. And you always want to keep that thing facing the enemy. You've got another... Um, E30, e, e, EC8, uh, 76 mil. That's a, one of the specially produced Germans during the war to deal with heavier German armor. So that thing's got a really good 76 mil that's capable of taking out most of the stuff we can deploy now. It's it's called it's okay. nicknamed an EC8. Have you seen the movie Fury? Uh, parts Brad Pitt. of it. Yeah, that was their tank. Their, their theirs was special. Theirs was an EC8. Oh, okay. Like it was it was definitely more of a more of a tank destroyer, even though it wasn't technically classified as one. It was definitely uh, deadlier than than most other things. So this guy's constantly still moving up on me, and I... So we got the, that ammo reloaded. We're gonna bring up this guy. Only two rounds. So I'm not managing a lot of units right now. I'm repairing my, my Panzer IV. But yeah, your uh, Jagged Panzer, if you can just try and get a shot at that thing right there, at, at yeah. range, That'd be perfect. That would do a lot of damage to the enemy. Right now, these bastards are moving up close. Oh, there we go. I got it. Sweet. Perfect. That's beautiful. I, I heard the explosion. Look at the score now. 370 to 289. Yeah, we're taking it. We're if taking you it. lose your tank there, though, that's going to even out quite quickly. Okay. okay so I'm just okay. going to try and focus on my flank again. I'm going to get some more support crew. Oh my god. So his his infantry is definitely coming up on my spawn, and I've been lazy defending my spawn, so he's been definitely been given the time to to push up, so time to branch out a bit, let my guys be on free move. Oh you know, let yeah, him, he's got Yeah. And now my tank is combat active again, so that's great. Pull it back. Um is there a way to get a repair crew out there? Yes. Uh basically you can repair your tank by clicking the uh, repair button down in the bottom right when it shows up and your crew will jump out and grab a repair kit and repair the gun or the tank automatically oh, okay cool oh he's pushing in infantry yeah on your side yeah i've got a couple troops watching over there So I keep spawning in bolts around there. There's a, even though this game is realistic and thinking, oh well, a gun is a gun, a bullet's a bullet. Yes, there's drastical difference though with infantry and infantry in this game. Um, some like mid tier, in, like low tier infantry will will potentially never beat higher tier infantry. Like you get some good German like Waffen SS or Fallschirmjäger or something like that of the heavier kind. They're going to obliterate uh, the enemy. I'll tell you that much. Um, 
they have better accuracy, they have better stamina, they always have better like health too. Uh, they have way better weapon proficiency, so they like they they're never gonna miss as much as regular infantry would. Elite infantry is definitely capable of of like being really hardcore in this game and just getting a lot of work done. So that uh, you got your tank fixed. Try and turn it around. Ooh, look at that! You managed to get a hit on it. Are you, are your tracks still out? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was that was lucky. He should have moved around that because that tank's greatest weakness is the fact that it can't turn. It can't turn its gun around when it's. Uh, uh, beyond its, um... Its track is... So I c called in a tiger. If they managed to kill my tiger, it would be game over. But I just took out their EC-8. Uh, at least some of the... Cur yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at the points now. Yeah, 444. That tank is... With the allies, when I play the US, I'll get, like, some really good tanks sometimes. I just obliterated a guy Ooh. trying to jump out of the tank. I shot him to pieces. So, a tiger is rolled in. If they destroy our tiger, are they gonna win? No. It's gonna be closer. We're gonna lose the massive lead we have, but... Germans and armor is never a uh, never a bad bet. Allies sometimes you call in something that's not as proficient as, proficient as the German counterpart, so to speak, and you're gonna lose uh -huh. a lot of points. You definitely have to play this differently between the Russians and allies and you know Germans and all the different factions. And I like allies. I know the Russians were allies, but oh. I, I kind of I, I kind of consider the UK and, and and English more as the allies. Right, right. I see I the mean, others as the common turn, you know, the Russians the common turn. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shoot one more APC BC round at the Sherman, see if we can get it to explode. Because oh, I'm afraid he's trying to move yeah, yeah. he's trying to move an infantry to take out my tank, I think. I'm afraid that they'll repair it, and I see at the bot end there a a little bastard called a priest. Firing away. Boom. Oh, wow. that's it. <laughs> I did, I did, towards the end there, I did a little game glitch where you aim at something in front of the target, even though it's beyond its range. And then you kind of shoot at the target that's way closer, but the but the, the projectile continues past. Uh, it's a little bit of a game trick. But yeah, there we are. Hey, hey good awesome. game, by the way. Look at that. Yeah, hey. 70 to 92. Infantry is definitely harder in this game, so you did good on the, the, the positive KDR there with the vehicles. Infantry is definitely harder yeah. to get like a good KDR because you know infantry is you send in a whole squad they can all die in a second and, and you know it's kind of yeah impact. I you know for not really knowing anything about the units or anything I think yeah. you know I did alright you did great really look at the score two, 229 and you, you almost had as much score as their best player on their side wow. and as far as I'm concerned that was the guy that had played 91 games so oh, hey, not bad not at all not bad at all you, <laughs> might, you, might, you might have a future in this scene <laughs> yeah, yeah but did you enjoy game. it so what did you think oh, oh yeah oh my god this game like, I remember going back playing it, maybe mm -hmm. because I didn't really know how anything worked. It was a bit over my head and just I got overwhelmed. It was just like, whatever, I'll stick to Total War. But yeah. since you were there, you know, explaining stuff to me, mm -hmm. it was really, like, in-depth, really cool, like, just realistic. And yeah, I was playing a ton of Company Heroes, and then switching to this, it's like, holy crap, it's night and day. Yeah, you don't have to even worry about the base building. And, and don't get me wrong, like, Company of Heroes is really fun, but this is so much more focused on the historical accuracy, like, the bigger battles, the, the realism. Yeah. The, the, it's so much more cinematic. It's more graphically intense. It's better sounds. Company of Heroes is a great game, but it's totally different. This is, like, right, if, it's a if Total experience. War... So, like, name a, a good medieval game that isn't Total War, but that has, like, battles, base building, you know, Age of Empires. If that's Company yeah. of Heroes, then this is totally the total war of, of World right, War II. Right, right. Stronghold or something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah. um, and as I said, it's night and day. We played a night map, fairly small. Imagine this 4v4. you got totally, you got oh way more gosh. factions to choose from. You've got different maps. you got desert scenarios. And and even during the daytime, I, I find it easier on the eye. This is a little hard to spot th uh, sometimes, but I think it's, I think it's randomly generated, but... Uh, yeah, I think I'll definitely be playing this just for fun on my mm -hmm. own time and... Look at you, learn. your unit had the top score, the uh, IV, oh. the Jagdpanzer IV, L48. Yeah, they just kept throwing stuff at us. Yeah. So just 21 like, right, infantrymen killed and four vehicles. That's pretty good. I'll just sit back and, and shoot that, them to death. that vehicle summed up half of your score. Like, so you can you really tell how much it can can change one unit. Yeah, no, this was, this was really fun. So definitely going to do it again. Yeah.